a lot was made about Rogers injury with the Achilles on playing on the turf at MetLife. I wanted to get your perspective, given that you played in the league for 12 years on the differences between playing on natural grass versus playing on turf. And then like, and then like that grass, I'm also glad mm -hmm. Pittsburgh drafted me and we was at uh Heinz Field at the time on that grass. Um, I was watching the I was watching the show this morning and Plex was on that show, Plexico Birds, a former teammate of mine. He was on the show and he said he he was talking to uh Ladanian Thomason, Hall of Fame running back at the time, the San Diego Chargers, mm -hmm. on how the hell he stayed so healthy his whole career. So Danian broke it down to him and said, Man, in in the AFC West, all our fields are grass. So when so when you're in grass, when you hit the ground, the ground a little bit softer. When you're in grass, when you when when somebody tackles you, the foot don't get stuck in the ground because the grass gives like how it would with a turf. When you when you're when you in grass, um, when you're jumping and coming down to the ball, it don't feel like you're coming down on concrete than it do grass. So grass grass has pre prevented a lot of injuries. Now, if you talk to the owners, they say it's a maintenance thing. But hey, but 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 hell, Mark, we talking about billionaires. So y'all want to call it with which y'all won't call it on which y'all won't call it. So grass is an issue every year. But you know, having a six, seven hundred million dollar yacht ain't an issue at all. I get it. That's a whole nother story. Uh, we call that player safety, since y'all won't talk about that one. So at the same time, um, it's just the grass just gives, man. The grass is more natural. The grass just does something to your body. And usually what it does is helpful. So at this sport being so contact and you're able and you got to move laterally, you got to stop and go. You're already putting a whole lot on your body anyway. And just adding that turf, um, it, it's, 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 it's tough. It's tough on the body. For maintenance issue as an owner, it's, it's no hassle. You know, you just lay it down and you're good. But for us as players, it's hard on the body, but with Plexico, Burr said earlier, um, him talking to LaDainian Thomas, a Hall of Fame running back from the San Diego Chargers at the time, where he said on why his why he think his career lasted so long made plenty of sense, and it's because of playing on that grass. Makes a lot of sense to me, Ike, and when I see that they bring in natural grass, even on turf surfaces for like World Cup, uh, European style, whether it's why. Premier League, other things. It's like, why are we not doing this? For... It's the same sport, Mark. American football and football. It, it's it's the it's the same. It's this. You're doing the same movements. You. It's just soccer. Not. They don't have helmets, and equipment on, and they're not hitting each other. But far as like lateral movements, vertical movements, it's the same thing, Mark. It's, the one. It's yeah, and the one thing I would say, Ike, would be if the grass isn't isn't well maintained, then I would prefer playing on turf. But again, when you're talking about billion dollar organizations, that should not be rocket science to figure out of hey, what do we need to do to make sure that this field stays in decent shape for eight home games, nine home games during a regular season? It's not like they're even playing every single day or even every other day for that matter.